no idea how good it feels with the sun. After not having seen the sun for weeks and weeks and weeks, all of November, and now the sun is out. Oh, Ooh. and then it's like magic in the air because it's like like the humidity in the air freezes us because it's so cold. It's 20 degrees, negative 20 degrees Celsius outside right now. So it's just like crystals floating around in the air and it's not normal snow because the sky is clear. So it must just be that the humidity in the air freezes because it's so cold. And it's just so pretty. Wow. I'm gonna try to get it on camera for you. And I love seeing tracks from animals in the snow. It brings another layer to the experience, helping me realize I'm not alone out here. I know they're around, I just can't see my fellow companions. But the sun doesn't stay up for long this time of the year, so soon enough I started to see signs of the night to come, and started to head back home. The way I'm feeling right now is so different from when I felt homesick. And something I'm really realizing about myself, or I guess I've realized it the last two years or so, is how dependent I am on the weather. I mean, I think we all are, but I think I'm one of those who are really, really dependent on the weather. I can be like almost depressed if it's gray outside for too long. Like almost not getting out of the bed. But then when it's <laughs> weather like this, I just get so filled up with joy and hormones, like those happy, happy, happy hormones. I don't know, I'm just, <laughs> sometimes I feel like my emotions, my feelings are a roller coaster to the degree that something must be wrong with me, but no, it's it's just the weather. <sighs> I mean, look at this. Is there anything better than being alive? Yes, I feel way better now compared to a couple videos back. But getting there is not always easy. Like I just said, it comes naturally for me when the sun is out. But then we have those short, dark days as well. Even though they're beautiful in its own way, they're often something I really have to struggle through. So I force myself to do something as simple as pulsing through the snow. It's much harder to make myself go out in this, but I know it pays off when I do. I start appreciating even the smallest things and feel much better when I get back inside. And I do also believe that those grey and dark days has a purpose as well. They help me go inwards, asking myself deeper questions. And without them, I wouldn't appreciate the beautiful days as much. But the funny thing is, the more beautiful weather, the colder it usually gets. Pay close attention to the following clip, and you'll be able to see that it lags. My equipment simply has a hard time working in this extreme cold. I went out with the intention to fly with my drone in this beautiful, beautiful weather. 
but nope. I get the error message that the battery is too cold, so it's unable to take off. Insane! During the coldest period, we actually dipped down to minus 33 degrees Celsius. Do you guys like my new mascara? It's an exclusive, all natural winter edition. But in this cold, I've also started to find some warmth in the way of meeting people. To begin with, there was a Christmas market in a nearby village. There, I met another photographer, together with his girlfriend. They have done a similar thing as I've done, by moving from Stockholm up to this region. The photographer's name is also Daniel, and he takes beautiful photos. So, we talked for a bit, and have since met up twice. I really need friends up here, and what couldn't have been better than someone else who also likes photography. And I've also met Elisa and Abby. They've been in the area for several months now, helping someone else out with a house. During this time, they've fallen in love <laughs> with this place, and are now looking for a house of their own. This was the second time we met, and they really wanted to try an ice plunge. So with absolutely horrible tools, we started making a hole in the ice. I just checked on the sauna and we're actually getting some heat in there. It's at least 25 degrees right now, Celsius, in there. And they are out there trying to get through the ice. Are you, are you stuck? <laughs> I'm not even holding it. <laughs> Take <this. laughs> it's insane. So it is about as twenty, right? Yeah. Okay. Think that huh? Hold it on. Yeah. Think. Okay, let's get naked. See the sauna. <laughs> but my my. Yeah, right, mate. Places are not yours, are? It's better now. It was a lot of fun to join them, seeing them take an ice dip for the first time. And it was actually the first time I took one in this extreme cold myself. It was minus 24 degrees Celsius outside. But luckily, we got the sauna up to 65 degrees. A difference of 89 degrees. After taking a couple dips, we felt done and begun to head back. Thank you for a great time, Elisa and Abby. I haven't done anything for Christmas up until now. Or, okay, I've done one thing and that was to go to the Christmas market in the nearby village. Other than that, I don't have a Christmas tree, I haven't put up any kind of lights, and it's December 11th today. So Christmas is here pretty soon. So I thought I would do at least something and what I want to do is to make fudge. So I just started this fire, but it's dying. deciliters sugar mm. 
since I'm you <laughs> since I'm making a vegan fudge, I'm using oat cream instead of regular cream. So now I'm just supposed to wait for one up to one and a half hours. It's only, it's only been uh, half an hour, which is way faster than the recipe said. But I just, I felt like I had to take this off now because it started to smell a little bit burnt. Not a lot, but uh, it's, it's there. <laughs> and I think the problem is that with a wooden stove, you can't really regulate the heat as you can with um, a normal stove. So, there is a risk that this is overcooked now. But I'm gonna let it cool down for 10 minutes, as the recipe says. And then I'm gonna whip it hard for almost 7 minutes. We'll see how that goes now, when it's probably overcooked. Uh, it's already getting thick, so I won't be able to whip it with this spoon, because this spoon will break. I have to change into this wooden spoon. Oh my god, no! This is not gonna be fudge, oh my god. Oh. This is not good. Um. <skratt> Åh, snälla hjälp med någon. Men gud, lossna då! <skratt> Something I haven't done for years is sending out Christmas cards. But since both my grandmas are getting older, and one sick in cancer, I really felt like I wanted to send them one this year. You never know when it will be too late, so it was with mixed feelings I went out to post them. It felt nice to do it, but it was also a reminder of how fast time passes by. So please, if you have someone dear out there, don't forget to make them feel appreciated. Hi everyone! Today it's actually Lucia. It's a holiday that I personally don't really celebrate that much. But... Uh, I guess it's a holiday uh, where we celebrate the light, more or less. So I have actually today uh, put on some candles and uh, lights around the house to do some kind of uh, celebration. And with that said, I think this video is coming to an end. But before we say goodbye, there is a few things I want to say. Especially since this might be the last video of the year. So first and foremost, I just want to say thank you to all of you out there who has been commenting and sending their love and just following along on this adventure. It has been such a year, 
truly a year of change for me moving out here and it means so much that I have you with me <laughs> by my side in all of this craziness so with all my heart thank you thank you thank you thank you reading everything you have to say is such a joy and I definitely have moments where I can still feel lonely up here even though I'm starting to make new friends and as soon as I feel a little bit lonely I know I can log in on YouTube and read all your comments that is that means so so much I really wish I could reply to everyone but that is it is impossible, unfortunately. So you know that I read every single comment. I just don't always have the time to reply to them. And my apologies for that. But I'm still so, so grateful. No, it's dying out. Okay, the candle is dying apparently, so I think I have to end this quickly. <laughs> the next thing I wanted to say is I wish you a Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate and a Happy New Year. See you in 2024. Bye! It feels a little bit bittersweet to say goodbye to this year, 2023. It has definitely not been the best year, generally speaking, with horrible wars going on. But on a personal level, it has brought me so much joy and fulfillment. And I can't wait to share the new year with you, with everything it may have in store. Merry Christmas, everyone, and a Happy New Year.